secret of the Omnitrix. Ben 10 vs. The Universe Many people find these two movies to be similar to each other. Like, being the first released movie in their respective shows, Ben goes to space for the first time, Ben meets Azimuth for the first time, Ben uses way big for the first time, etc etc. And in this video, we'll be taking a look at both movies, and see which is better. But first, this video is about my opinion and what I think, so you might have a different perspective on these topics. And also, spoiler alert, click away if you haven't seen these movies already. Oh! One more thing, I'll be referring to Secret of the Omnitrix as Soto, and Versus the Universe as VTU. So with that in mind, let's get to it. As you might have guessed, people like Soto more than VTU. Cause you know, original good reboot bad. As far as story goes, these two are pretty similar. Ben goes to space to meet the creator of the Omnitrix, fights Vilgax, all the things I mentioned a little earlier. In Soto, Ben had to travel to space because the Omnitrix was about to self-destruct, and he goes to find the creator of the Omnitrix, Azmuth, to hopefully fix it. In VTU, Ben had to go to space because a giant meteor was about to crash land on Earth, possibly blowing it up. Or at least, he thought it was a meteor. If you ask me which of these are better or more interesting, I'm not sure. I think both of them make up a good plot. I think VTU introduced more new things than Soto did. In Secret of the Omnitrix, we learned about Azmuth, Inkarskan, Way Big, and Myox. While in Versus the Universe, we learned about Azmuth, the Null Void, Omni Not Armor, Incursions, the Omnitrix's ability to unlock any DNA inside it using a special combination, Glitch Armor, Way Big, Goop, Anti-Vilgax and Alien V. So that's A plus for VTU. However, I think that Soto did more character development on Ben than VTU. It showed that Ben isn't actually selfish, and that he actually cares for others and not just himself. It's called being totally unselfish? Something you wouldn't understand. While in VTU, Kevin got more of a character development than Ben. I think. Well, it showed that he's not really a villain, he just is all that bad stuff because he wants to get attention. Huh? Proud? Of me? Not that I really care about that sort of thing, but it's worth noting. Also, Soto has more dark moments, and I don't mean literally this time, like when Ben thought Gwen died, and he was willing to do more to fix the Omnitrix after that. It should've been me! VTU kinda had a dark moment, when Ben got trapped in the Null Void and he thought he was never gonna get out of there, and some, other stuff, I'm not really good at determining this kind of stuff. The art styles of these got slightly improved than the regular episodes of their respective shows. VTU's Null Void looks sick not gonna lie. But of course, Soto has a more realistic art style than VTU, just like the rest of the show. And if you know me, I value animation way more than art style, and VTU did a better job at the movements and fight scenes than Soto. Well, it's a 2007 movie so it's probably excusable that the animation isn't that good, but when compared to VTU, it's far better. Let's talk about some of more specific things. These two movies features prisons, where Azmuth is being held. Well, they thought, it was where Azmuth was being held. But like I already mentioned, Soto featured the Inkarskan prison, while VTU featured the Null Void for the first time. We've already seen the Null Void in the original series before this movie, so Inkarskan could be considered a, newer, if you will. There were more prisoners and alien species shown in Inkarskan more than in the Null Void. Although, Null Void prisoners are somewhat new species, their references to classic aliens reboot Ben never used. After. Both of the situations in these movies are both very serious. VTU has a planet threatening a threat, while Soto has threat that threatens the entire universe, although Ben only knew that it would threat his hero career and that it wouldn't threat anyone else. Threat is not even a word to me anymore. I do find it not making any sense how a device as small as the Omnitrix can blow up the entire universe. If the self-destruct is allowed to detonate, the explosion will cause an energy ripple that will literally rip apart the universe, including Earth. Now, I'm no scientist, but last time I checked, the universe is a pretty big place. But Gray, this is a science fiction film, not everything- I know Bob. Shut up. Ehem. I wouldn't really say one of these plots is better than the other, they both make up for a good story. Also, 
VTU had this little flashback sequence showing the first time Reboot Ben found the Omnitrix and that Vilgax used to be Azmuth's assistant. In all honesty, I think Vilgax being his assistant makes for a much more interesting story than some rando. The Azmuths here are also pretty much the same. They're selfish, doesn't give a crap about the universe, uh. That's about it actually. But then they eventually helped Ben save the day. He did get taught a lesson by Ben and Soto though. At first, all I cared about was that I wouldn't be able to go hero anymore. That I'd be stuck with just being me. Sometimes you have to see the good in people. And not just be a selfish jerk. I think I like Vilgax's appearance in VTU more than in Soto. He got a couple new forms, while also letting us know a bit more about the Antitrix and what it can do. One more thing, just like most of the reboot specials, VTU suffers from pacing issues. Some parts of it felt too rushed, and can be made longer. But upon rewatching it, I didn't feel much of the pacing issues I felt the first time watching it. I think that's enough points for both of them, is that enough points for both of them? Let's just list them anyway. So here are the aspects that I think Soto did better than VTU. Character development, pacing, making you think someone's dead, moral lessons. And here are the aspects that I think VTU did better than Soto. Newly introduced things, origin reveals, fight scenes, also moral lessons. Yeah I'm really not good at these things as can't already tell. So, which movie do I think is better? Some of you are probably gonna get mad at me for saying this, but... I find VTU more enjoyable. Ha! Not... So yeah, that's my review of these two movies. And that's also gonna be it for this video, I hope you will find it somewhat enjoyable. Thank you for watching, and uh, bye.